So today I'm going to be starting off with the tape technique. So as you can see I have scotch tape lining my eyes and I've already primed my eyelids. So I'm just going to go in with a light morphe color. This is cream puff and I'm just going to brush this all over the lid with a blending brush. Now I'm going to be taking a defining brush and then I'm going to start on the outer corner of the eye and work my way all the way to the inner tear duct and I'm just going to be blending this slightly darker shade all across my crease. Now I'm going to go over that with another fluffy blending brush and a slightly warmer color and again I'm just going to follow the same lines that I did on my crease. Now taking a dense shader brush I am going to take the first color that I had put in my crease and I'm going to pack that all on my lid. This color has a slight shimmer to it so I really wanted to make sure to get it on my lid because it will attract a lot of light. Once I am satisfied with the denseness of color on my lid, I am just going to take my blending brush and blend everything together. And now for the moment of truth, I am going to go ahead and take off the tape. As you can see, the lines are super sharp, very clean, and since I did this before I put on my foundation, I can clean out any fall off that I might have gotten. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to slightly buff out that edge so it's not quite as harsh. Moving on to my foundation, I'm going to take the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and I am just going to apply this all over my face. Now using one of my new favorite foundations, I am going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and I am just going to apply this all over my face just in kind of little swipes and then I am going to take my Morphe M438 and I am going to buff it out all over. Now using my favorite under eye concealer, I am going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I am in shade NW20. I am going to apply this all over my under eyes in a triangular shape and I am also going to use this to contour so I am going to put a little bit down the center of my nose as well as on my chin, underneath my nose and on the center of my forehead. Now taking one of my newer brushes, I'm going to use the Morphe G1 to blend my concealer out. So I like to just use pressing motions because it really blends nicely without picking up all of the product. super annoyed right now because I never break out on my forehead and for some reason I have like a little cluster of texture right now and I was trying to figure out why am I breaking out right there. I went to the eye doctor yesterday and they have you put your chin in the little chin rest and then make you touch your forehead to that little strap thing and I didn't see her clean it off before she asked me to put it on there. I just assumed it's a doctor's office they would do it but that seriously has to be it. This is the only thing that I can think of that that is different and I literally I never get texture on my forehead. <sighs> so frustrated. So moral of the story, you go to the eye doctor or anywhere where you're going to be touching your face with anything, make them clean it off in front of you. Now I'm going to set all of the areas that I just applied that concealer. So I am taking my tapered highlighting brush from Sigma and I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder from her contour kit. 
Then to set the rest of my foundation, I am just going to take a big fluffy powder brush and I am using the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat powder and just applying this all over my face. So now with the power of makeup, I am going to go ahead and create the illusion of a smaller nose by contouring just with some matte bronzer. Now I know these lines look a little bit intense right now, but have no fear, I will be buffing it out later. Now to create the illusion of sun-kissed skin, I am going to be taking my e.l.f. matte bronzer and my e.l.f kabuki brush and just bronzing my face. As you can see, I'm not applying bronzer all over my face. I'm mainly just putting it where the sun would be hitting my face. So I put it on my foreheads in the corner as well as along my cheekbones and underneath my jaw. Moving on to highlighting, I'm going to take my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush and I am taking my Wet n Wild Fergie Highlighter, applying a little bit on the ball of my nose to create a little bit of lift, as well as putting this on the very tops of my cheekbones. And of course, we all need a little bit of blush in our lives, so I am using a Milani Baked Blush, and I will put the color down below, so I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks and blending it out. I went ahead and did my brows off camera, so now I'm just going to highlight my brow bone a little bit. I am using an Anastasia of Beverly Hills highlighting brow pencil, so I'm just putting that right underneath my brows, and then I'm just going to actually blend that out with my fingertip. Now to complete my brow highlighting, I am going in with this Hard Candy Duo with a lighter shade and just applying this on the arch of my brow. And I'm also going to use this as my tear duct highlight. So I'm just taking a little bit and applying it to the tear duct. And then of course, I'm just going to blend it all out. So that does it for this lightly bronzed makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in my next video.